Hello everybody, welcome to an After Effects CS6 tutorial where we're going to go over quickly how adjustment in layers might create a problem for you in a 3D scene. <clears throat> so I've got these two objects here. They're just, uh, I made them 3D because they've already been made in 3D from a previous tutorial and I want to apply an adjustment layer with an effect on it to desaturate everything except for my gear here. So what an adjustment layer does is you, it's up here in the layer panel, or in the layer drop down here, right here. And what it does is you can put an effect on it and it, and it pretty much affects everything that's below it. So if I throw this on here at the top, and put an effect on it. Let's put let's put a blur on because that's pretty easy to see. It's gonna blur everything. Now I'm gonna take this, leave this blur on for you. I'm just gonna turn the effect off real quick. And like I said, I don't want it to affect the gear. I just want it to affect everything below. So I'm gonna move this adjustment layer underneath the gear. But now the gear pops out in front. You're like, what the? And you know the four letter word that comes out from it. And this is because effectively this adjustment layer breaks the rendering order of the uh, comp. And that's just something that the adjustment layer does. Now this adjustment layer doesn't allow these 3D objects to interact with each other anymore, such as if they cast shadows on each other or if they interact or intersect with each other or anything like that. So I'm going to show you in the top view real quick how I have my 3D scene set up. Here are those uh, CSTV colorful letters there, and then this right here is my uh, gear that I had in the back. So let's go to our our camera here and now you can see it's weird that the gear is in front and that's because of this adjustment layer like I explained earlier. Now if I turn on the effect you can see it it's gonna affect everything but now this gear isn't in 3D space anymore. Pretty much the only way to get around this is to delete your adjustment layer and add that effect of a blur onto every layer that you want to have the effect on. You can't use the adjustment layer because it breaks up the rendering order and disallows things to interact with each other. So in case you guys were messing around with that, I just wanted to explain to you how that was uh, going on and why that was happening so you weren't all peed off at your computer or after effects more I should say so thanks for watching this quick tip and hopefully you guys don't run into this problem ever but now you know how to fix it from happening and what to do thanks for watching and have a good day everybody